Hi everyone. Welcome to Frappe School. My name is Lynette Sharon. Today we will be discussing inpatient management using ERP Next. By the end of this chapter, you will know managing patient admission, managing inpatient treatment, managing patient discharge. Healthcare practitioners will assess the severity of symptoms and condition during the patient encounter and determine if hospitalization is required. Some patients are asked to admit to the hospital so that the treatment is provided by trained professionals. The admission, treatment and discharge cycle generates a lot of data that needs to be captured and maintained. ERP next will show the availability status of healthcare units like beds, operation theater and intensive care unit. During the treatment, healthcare practitioners routinely check patients and determine medications to be administered and further lab tests to be done. Also, it is important that all healthcare services provided to the patient are billed before the discharge. ERP Next makes it easy to automatically send follow-ups after the discharge via SMS and email alerts. Let's see inpatient management in action in ERP Next. We have performed various lab tests on Blake and have diagnosed an illness where he needs to be admitted to the healthcare center and receive proper treatment and care. For this, we will have to streamline the admission and discharge operations while making sure that the right treatment is being given. Let's see how ERP Next helps us to organize these operations smoothly. When a doctor orders admission of a patient, we need to create an inpatient record. We can navigate to inpatient record under patient care. Here, we can create a new record by clicking on add inpatient record. First, select the name of the patient. This will auto-populate the name, gender and contact number of the patient. The admission status and date will be auto-fetched. Then, select the time that the patient has been admitted. Next, select the medical department that will be overlooking the patient. The admission service unit type, the primary healthcare practitioner and the secondary healthcare practitioner as well as any notes can be taken down. Moving on. We can even add any nursing tasks that will be applicable while the patient is being treated along with the expected number of days that the patient will be admitted. A practitioner can order a patient for admission from the patient encounter screen as well as using the admission order button. As part of the admission order, the practitioner can provide necessary details as to which type of ward bed the patient needs to be admitted to and any other admission instructions for the staff. On ordering a patient for admission, the ERP Next Healthcare creates an inpatient record for the patient with all instructions provided by the practitioner. Any prescribed medications and investigations or procedure orders as part of the ordered encounter will be carried to the patient's medical record. Once a service unit is assigned for the patient, the inpatient record status will be updated to admitted. We can set the service unit capacity which denotes the number of concurrent appointments allowed to be scheduled in that unit by checking the allow overlap checkbox. When a patient is admitted to the hospital, some medications need to be provided according to the prescribed schedule. 
an inpatient medication order is created to prescribe the medications like the drug the dosage etc first let's navigate to the inpatient medication order click on add inpatient medication order and select the patient the patient list here is filtered only to have inpatients as an option we can select the healthcare practitioner set the start date for the order the schedule for the prescribed drugs will be created starting from this date in the medication orders table there is an add medication orders button when clicked a dialog box will be shown to fill up the prescription details select the drug dosage period and dosage form then click on add detailed schedule entries for the order beginning from the start date are added to the table once we save and submit the end date will be automatically set based on the prescription duration you can see the total orders and completed orders in the other details section we can see an option for creating inpatient medication order also known as ipmo under create you can use this button to create the ipmo ipmo with an expanded view of the schedule will be created save and submit the statuses for ipmo are governed by the total completed order entries the order entries are marked as completed when an inpatient medication entry is created against that order entry let's assume blake is getting transferred from the deluxe bed facility to the general bed facility we can track this movement in erp next using the patient transfer feature finally blake has defeated the disease and is ready for discharge a practitioner can order an inpatient's discharge through a patient encounter or the inpatient record the discharge order allows us to select the contents of the discharge notes which will get updated in the patient's inpatient record document we can select the investigations medications and procedures included in the patient's treatment at the facility which is to be printed in the discharge notes and optionally add his comments to print if you want to see the complete journey of the patient in a single glance we can view it from patient medical record i hope this helped you understand in patient management using erp next you can read more about erp next healthcare on docs.erpnext.com thank you